Welcome to UNV Academy. We are going to talk about system maintenance. We are going to introduce NVR configuration and diagnosis info backup. NVR restore. NVR upgrade and smart analysis on hard disk. Let's start from backup. Here you are able to import or export the configuration of the NVR. It will be very useful to save the configuration settings of your NVR. This is the configuration file we just exported. Importing the configuration file is just as easy. Select the file on your USB drive to import. The system will reboot to continue the process. If you need more detailed information for troubleshooting some issues that happen to NVR or IPC, you can select device type and export the current diagnosis info. These files will show you details like device model, firmware version, operation time, and so on. They will be very helpful in troubleshooting issues. Now let's move on to restore page. This page gives you two different default levels. One is default. It will restore all the factory default settings except network and user settings. This level is the most convenient to choose, since it will keep your current network settings and password. The second one is factory default. This level will include the network and password to be reset, and it will also inactivate your device. You can also use auto function to auto restart your NVR. You can set the schedule for the NVR. For example, if you select Friday 2 a.m., then the NVR will automatically restart at 2 a.m. every Friday. You can set a schedule for the NVR to automatically delete files containing recordings and images saved on the disk as well. This function can be very useful to avoid system breakdown from a long time running, as well as clean the hard disk to make sure it has enough space for the latest recordings and images. In this section, you are able to upgrade both of your NVR and cameras added to the NVR. Upgrading can be done in two different ways. One is cloud upgrade. Below it is the current version of your system. If your system is connected to the East Cloud, click check for update. If your system is not running the latest firmware version, you can simply just click the upgrade. It will be upgraded automatically. The other is local upgrade. Insert your local drive with the correct firmware file corresponding to your model of your NVR and current firmware version. Select the upgrade file and click upgrade. We advise you to always carefully read the upgrade and release instruction before upgrading. Sometimes features are added or changed. This might affect your current setup. If you are running a custom firmware, please refer to your supplier first. This page shows you all the cameras that are added to your NVR. You can update them by cloud and local as well. It's always a good idea to save the setup configuration settings before upgrading. This way you are able to restore the original settings. Now let's move on to the hard disk smart analysis. The NVR is able to constantly monitor the condition of your hard drives. The system provides three test types, short, Extended and conveyance. Extended tests detect more thoroughly and thus take longer time than short tests. Conveyance tests mainly detect data transmission problem. If you'd like to run a quick test, select short and click test. The manufacturer, model, operation time, hard disk temperature, and working hours are also shown here as well as all the smart details about your selected hard drives. If more analysis is needed, a bad sector detection test can be executed. We can choose to do a quick key area detection or to do a full detection. If the hard disk is shown any bad sector, the information will be prompted. This function provides more information and tools beyond smart. The last topic is one-click collect here. With this function, we are able to collect the diagnosis information of IPC and NVR. 
and operation logs with just one click. That's all for today's learning. Hope this will be helpful to you. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.